Hi, I'm Mickey Mouse and this is my Purim blog. This week is Purim. It commemorates 2,400 years ago when the Jews were saved from Haman's evil decree in Persia. People get dressed up like this to hide and mask their identities in the same way that God's identity is masked in the Purim story. He hid behind seemingly natural events such as the appointing of a Jewish queen, the inviting of the queen and Haman to a feast, which eventually led to Haman's downfall and being hung on the gallows that he so wanted Mordecai to be hung on. This is what happens in everyday life, that God is behind everything we do. He is the director of our lives. We are the actors, and he is the director. Without the director, the actors have nothing to do. They have no lines to say. They don't know what's going on. The director is all important, but he is behind the scenes. We cannot see him. And the same is with God. He directs our lives. He writes the scripts. We just merely act in the way he wants. It is interesting that the Talmud tells us on Purim that one should become so inebriated that one does not know the difference between blessed is Mordechai and accursed is Haman. Very strange thing to say. Why should Jews become inebriated so we don't know the difference between blessed Mordechai and the cursed Haman? Or was that the cursed Mordechai and the blessed Haman? I'm not sure. Something like that. The question is, what is it all about? So I heard an answer like this, that what the Talmud is trying to tell us is that we need to become to a realization that good and evil can both achieve the same result. The Talmud tells us that when Achashverosh removed his ring to Haman to kill all the Jews, that did more to save the Jews than any of the prophets did in their lifetimes.